NASA's Terra Modis satellite is orbiting high over the ocean of the South African coast when it captures this image. The clouds seem to form a series of curves which produce a bizarre cone hundreds of miles long. The image is passed to meteorologist Professor Randy Cervini. I've never seen anything quite that amazing. It almost looks like an alien weapon being shot out into space. At its widest, the rippled cone is 100 miles across. The tip of the cone, the apparent source of the waves, is a small remote volcanic island called Marion Island. Ordinary members of the public are not permitted to visit the island. The only people allowed there is a team of scientists from the South African National Antarctic Program, who are said to be studying the climate. The location of the island is completely unremarkable, except for one thing. In 1979, the U.S. Vela spy satellite, which was used to monitor nuclear test activity, was flying high over this area when it recorded the double flash of a nuclear explosion. The Soviets denied all knowledge. The Chinese said it wasn't them. There have been more than 2,000 nuclear bomb tests since 1945. All of them are accounted for, except this one. There was speculation that a nuclear device had been developed and tested by either Israel or South Africa. But no country has accepted responsibility. Could the strange image captured by satellite be evidence of some other kind of weapon testing in the same area? A weather station of some sort on a remote island from which these weird clouds seem to be spiraling out. Is there a connection? Maybe. Secrecy often applies to cutting edge, deep black projects, particularly if they're designed to produce new weapons. Rumors about exotic atmospheric weapons have focused on a controversial US government project known as HARC. Most people have never even heard of HARC, but those that have, there's a pretty wide swath of researchers who, who believe that uh, they're up to no good. PARC, which stands for the High Frequency Active Auroral Research Program, is a U.S. military project. It involves firing high power, high frequency waves into the Earth's atmosphere after bouncing them from a series of relay stations. generates massive amounts of electromagnetic energy and can be used for a variety of things. First and foremost, you can use that to bounce signals off the ionosphere and communicate all around the world. The official line is that heart boosts communications and enhances radio surveillance capabilities. Communications is central to military doctrine and operations. If you can understand the ionosphere, it helps you with things like avoiding being jammed, and it helps you to jam the other side. But there are rumors that HARP is involved in more than communications. Some believe it is working on novel weapons. There are even those who say that they can use these frequencies to initiate earthquakes. Is this image evidence of some advanced communications or weapon system? It is an amazing photograph, but it's an amazing photograph of what I think is a very natural phenomenon, something called gravity waves. Gravity waves are something that happens when you force air into an environment where it wouldn't have been otherwise. By air flowing over a barrier like an island, something like that. It's sort of a rhythmic pattern. It forms clouds at the top of the oscillation, and then it goes back down, and the clouds go away. And then it comes back up again, and you get some more clouds. It's a remarkable image, and the strange waves look suspiciously man-made. But what we see from space is really a weird but natural atmospheric phenomenon. 